Okay, it's time. And rip Nico. How are you guys doing? Looks like the matches have already started. But let me... Show that off a little bit. So we got, I want to say Kaibi, Nico, who apparently can't join, Pineapples, Ruby, Ren, T-Rex, or Trex, Mr. Something, Aspog, Dusty, Quagmire, Quagmon, I hope these are two different people. Ruckus. A goat. Eth Beast. Red. And Arcanine. But yeah. I guess for whenever you guys are ready, or if someone wants to join, you can actually have them show up. <laughs> Why is all that playing? That's super cursed. It's like all my sound alerts played at once. Bunch of grubs and Squidward. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, let me actually turn on the in-game music. But yeah, you guys get in here. So it's not just me by myself, you know? All right, let's see. This already feels kind of messy, but... You know? Step into the ring. All right, so code one five D zero H, and I guess that isn't playing for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it's just cursed this point but here here it is I need to update the arena code all right cool 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 What happened to Ark? Well, I need to put my land connection in. 
Oh boy. But yeah, here's the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, never mind. I did set it to... It's still eight people, but... I guess in case Red wants to do co-commentary later, it's best not to have a small cap. Pop in the monster. Oh, man. like some people are gonna get some free wins yeah it sure does look like that some of these timers are these put on YouTube by the way yeah I'll try to upload the whole thing on YouTube afterwards Does it matter? Oh yeah, I guess it does. Okay. Well... Have a good day? Question mark? It's easier for me to find on YouTube. Okay. Right, they're starting. Thanks for hosting, no problem. Three, two, so we got go. Red versus Ark here. Wolf versus Robin, of course. Yeah, you could argue that Wolf is Arcanine's main, or Byleth, but for Red, Robin is definitely his main, his go-to. Let me just uh, add their details real quick. So far, the lead's in 
Red's favor. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Well, good luck, Ren. And let me get those zeros there. And we're good. Probably should have set up a... points gambling. But, you know. Okay, a little laggy. But Ark is on his last stock. I'm sure if Red gets that Nosferatu off, it's gonna be some psychological damage. As we in the community know. But it's not over yet. These are my favorite types of tourneys. I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> Even though it's kind of messy right now. Just looking for those air hits. Those air smashes. I think Jay set up the set up the redemptions. Appreciate it. First match goes to red. And if we just look back at the yeah, I was thinking maybe it's too late. Because people are going to be biased at this point. But, uh... Yeah, we got some DQs. Some wins, some losses. Some people are heading into... You know, I really wanted them to wait for the top eight. But I guess they'll just do their thing. Yeah, where's the faith? Oh, did I mess up? Well, actually, you're fine, but... It's no big deal as long as we get the, the grand finals and winner's finals, hopefully. Yeah, it seems like Dusty isn't here, for some reason. Man. <clears throat> So, you know, we could absolutely just follow whoever is, uh, whoever wins this to their next match. My controller's acting up, I can't move right. Technical difficulties on game day. Do you have another controller?
You're good now? All right. Sweet. Okay, match number two. Between these two. Red has opted to pick Bowser instead this time. We've seen a little bit of Red's Bowser a couple days ago. He did take some wins. So I guess this is his way of switching things up. Do I wait for mine? Sorry if you already answered. Um, go for it. You can go ahead. As long as we can get the... the finals... Then, yeah, or semifinals. We can stream semifinals and everything else. Or at least attempt to. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to halt things. Like, maybe I'll have to move the time. semi-finals and up oh really unfortunate couldn't recover well I guess I'll have to figure it out Okay, final stocks. Bowser basically at zero. Ooh. That super armored forward smash. Okay. Ark takes it. So now it's 1-1. One, one. Nice, nice. Alright. By the way, Red, since you're not fighting anymore, do you know how to... Uh, move the schedule up or lock up certain parts of the bracket. Might be reporting. Kind of figure that out now. Yeah, I'm thinking I just moved the start time. Up to like an hour later.
Maybe winner's final one, one and a half. I think grand final is two hours. Yeah, I could try something like that. Anyways, last match between these two. Someone's always making noise upstairs. Alright, it's in Ark's favor for now. But I'm sure if he gets Ark Fighter enough. He'll die. Ooh, okay. Nice punish. Alright, that should fix things. <clears throat> so people will be forced to wait. By the way, round one is not aligned with best two or three. I'm not sure. The program is being weird. I'm not sure that I can actually move the text. Maybe if I extend it to be winner's round run. Okay, that works. Stock for red. Arc is at kill percent. Okay, looking close. Ooh, not looking good. Who's gonna get it? on ledge for too long. 
Good game, good game. So there we have it. Red advances and Ark is going to losers. Although it would be funny for a betting sake if Ark won and everyone just lost a whole bunch of points. But yeah, now we're now we're back at a clean clean slate. We have some people in winners, some people in losers, some people not showing up. It's a real big old mess right now. But as long as people are enjoying it. Looks like a goat and red can be streamed right now. You're right. Alright, I guess we're we're following red still. Or Beast and Ark. Either one. Uh, let's do Red. I guess I think people would be more interested in the winner's run. But now we wait once more. I think that's for Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. That's like an old one. Because I haven't streamed Monster Hunter in a long time. But yeah, let me update the information here. I'm hoping this is a goat. <laughs> and not just some random person who got in here. Be right back? Okay. So, just like that, we're in the winner's quarterfinal. Right. Robin and Pitt. 
character that red dropped. But here we go. No predictions. Uh, one sec. Jay did it last time, but because she's BRBing right now, I'll do it. If I can get to it. There we go. So put your points in. If you think red's gonna win or a goat, a goat. So far, Red's in the lead. As I've said before, that down B from Pit is broken. Because not only is it a reflector, but it's also practically an air shield. But yeah, welcome back, Jay. I didn't mean to have a text box here somewhere. put it right here. Okay, there's two text blocks. <laughs> Never mind then. Yeah, it's looking dire for Stellar, aka Goat. All right, first game goes to Red. Good match. Good match. So let's again look at the bracket here. You can see Ruby, our latest entry, is doing pretty well. And so is Quagmire. <laughs> but it's Ice Climbers time. Sounds like Red's a bit fearful right now. The Nana and Popo combo. I haven't actually seen Nana and Popo played online in 
quite some time. Okay, they're going... They're going dummy. They are going bonkers right now. <laughs> okay, Popo get a, getting a last hit in there. Red's getting jumped right now. It's a bit laggy. Hopefully that is an issue for the competitors. Oh my god, that's tech, that's technique. I've never even thought about oppressing that jump like that. <laughs> god damn. All right, who's putting money on a goat? They might be going crazy right now. That was big oppression. Alright, so while we wait, we'll just go... You're the goat, a goat. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, we got some losers running right now. We got our current people. Ruby and Aspog have made it to the semifinals, but they have to wait. Until we're ready for them. And it shouldn't be too long. We got one... We got a few matches, but we'll be able to stream the rest of them. More than likely. Also, let me add... A goat's point there. Well, I guess this comeback since you beat them first match. I think I lost the tournament. What happened? All right, here we go. Tiebreaker. PS2. This is the match to be focused on right now. Goat. Hopefully he doesn't... Okay. It's not zero to death. Nosferatu not working. The backup. Ooh. Those ice combos. Little did we know we had a pro player here.
But Red isn't out. Just needs to get his footing. Yeah, they were just holding back. That pit choice was a... Was a facade. This really is the power of two. Not even Arc Th not even Arc Fire is getting through. But Red can do this. All right, Popo's down, but Nana. Nana's still in this. Now she's gone. It's a whole full stock lead. But that doesn't mean Red has to give up. Looks like they're looking for the grab. Step some combos. All right, Red has some combos of his own. That's the match. The hustle was strong. But a goat advances. 2 1. Good games to the both of you. So now that they've advanced, they, they'll have to wait until we get things caught up here. But since we, since the other matches are kind of, I don't know, we could have uh, Ruby and Aspog join the arena and then manually have them do their do their thing I'll just let them be notified in the Discord here. <clears throat> oh, Jay already pinged them. Sorry for the double ping. <laughs> but welcome, Ruby. We have the arena set up. For you and Aspog to join. So we can just manually go through semifinals. And hopefully by that time, uh, losers will be ready to broadcast too. Really hope I don't fight them again. I don't know the Ice Climbers matchup. Me neither. I'd probably just stay away and spam projectiles but even that can be uh, oppressed over time
But uh, yeah, I'll just set up their names here. Hopefully Aspog shows up. And Ruby looks like they're a Dark Samus player. That's cool. And as for Aspog, they're also an Ice Climber player. Hmm. Quagmire and Goat will play after? Yeah. So we're, we're kind of blazing through in a weird, weird roundabout way. We're kind of advancing this tournament, even though we've only streamed like two matchups. But hopefully they join soon. Did they reply? Okay, we're just looking at the... Discord here real quick. Of some disputes. You gotta change the start time. Doesn't mean we can check in. Ah, okay. Thought there was like a manual way to do it. Anyways, let's uh... move the start time over. But I thought you could manually do it. it. Looks like you guys have started. Based on this stuff here. Oh, check in available shortly. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we really needed someone who knew their stuff at start GG to have this all set up. Uh, is there a way to move the check-in time? Perhaps not. Maybe we can just... Put this up. Dang, my ears are burning. Oh, I. It's done, don't worry. Okay. Alright, so if I move the check-in, the uh, start time 
back to make sure they don't start the other two. Hopefully that... That's okay. Hearing smack? Like on my stream? Oh. Okay. Maybe you're a competitor. I know what I'm doing. Somewhat. <clears throat> I was just saying that you were probably busy with your matches, is all. But anyways, let me move this. If So if I move this start time back to 9.30, will that mess up Aspog and Ruby, or will it just hold back the other two, since you manually started them? I guess we'll find out. Probably hold back. I just pushed back Quagmire and go to 9.30. I think, anyways. Alright, well. <laughs> hopefully this works out. Although, I don't know. Click on their matches. Click report. Thank you, people with distinct names. Makes it easier to seed. Edit time. Okay, 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 okay. Thanks, Jay. I didn't realize you could do it individually. See, this is why we need more heads than just me. Because I'm just guessing. But anyways, back to this screen. We're still waiting for Azpog to join the arena. Okay, they said okay. Oh, man. The technical difficulties are crazy. <laughs> Southwatch Gaming. I'm gonna assume that's Azpog. But welcome. Welcome to the arena. And the stream. No? <laughs> well, that's a hard coincidence. Considering you have... T-posing Nana as your <laughs> profile, as your profile banner. But uh, yeah, welcome, just a viewer. I'm sure it's totally, totally fine and normal. Not me watching a friend. Okay. Um.
Let's see. So I'll pay out for a goat. And then we'll have a new prediction up. Hope you guys are ready. Ruby versus Aspog. Also, let me switch over their character portrait since I didn't expect a Bayonetta. But yeah, this should be a cool match. People have then, who have already preceded beat two opponents. Uh, okay. Now my own appliances are going crazy. <clears throat> Hopefully the stream didn't crash. I just accidentally unplugged my uh, my headlight. But yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I totally flashbanged everyone who's looking at me right now. Oh, surprisingly, didn't get hit with that forward smash. But it's... They've taken one stock each. Although Ruby's in the lead. He looked like the Zero Shade emote for a sec. I can see it. Just looming in the darkness for a quick sec. Alright. Nice combo into the back air. A red glare in the darkness. Yeah, that's my, uh, that's my alternate Monster Hunter name. My Monster Hunter guild card title. Alright. Well, looks like Aspok is making a pretty decent comeback. The simple throw and charge shot will do it. All right, first match goes to goes to Ruby. Nice. Also, no one has predicted anything yet. I should probably shorten the timer for the for that. So how about I just delete it, since you guys will be biased. And then next time we'll have it. But yeah, how's it going in the chat? Are we doing quarterfinals for Loser Zero? Uh... I think because it's semi-finals and up, I don't know if that would be included. I 
Wait, would it be? Yeah, it would, actually. Yeah, we're streaming the top eight, so it would be included. I just, uh, just had a bit of a brain fart. Yeah, so if we can, um, if we can set up the Losers quarterfinals to be delayed, if one of you guys could do that. I'd appreciate it. Alright, match two. Quarters is top eight, and so is round three. Really? Round three is? Well, I... I don't know if people have already started, so I think it's already, it's already scuffed. Or maybe you guys haven't started, I don't know. Um, if everyone, if the other people have started, then if Ren and Kaibi have already started then. You guys can just do round three. And then we'll delay quarterfinal for losers. Anyways, back to the match. Ruby is taking a, another lead. Missed the spike. And Azpog is capitalizing on that. Ah, uh, they couldn't make it back. <coughs> but it's looking even again. Nice forward air. Bayonetta doing a lot of Bayonetta things. I agree. South Southwatch Gaming currently in emote only mode. Maybe because of the emote wall. They just want to see their emotes go all over the place. <laughs> I knew it. But once again, the lead is back to Ruby. Although, they're close to losing their second stock. Ooh, nice wall jump. They're really capitalizing on these wall jumps. All right. And that's two for Ruby. So they advance to winner's finals. Good games, good games. Respectable games. Uh, so it looks like predictions were up, but considering we just saw them, the results, that <laughs> why would anyone pick the other option? So let me just, uh, just delete it. But yeah, that was interesting. Um, now we are going to have, uh, Quagmire and a goat. 
if they could join. Almost got free points. Yeah, if someone was goofy enough to vote the other person, yeah. But let's take another look at the... Let's take another look at the bracket here. So, so far we've had a couple of disqualifications for some reason or another. Currently, Ruby is the only one in winner's final. The latest entry. Maybe this is a... Uh, maybe they have some plot armor. Be right back, okay. And... Corner finals, we have Aspog, and then Ren and Mister, as well as Ren and Kaibi, will get their time in the spotlight. Top six will be streamed, not top eight. Well, <laughs> I need the password. It says, uh, it says Quagmire. Let me actually show it on screen. But yeah, we're just, uh... Just sorting things out. To get these two competitors into the arena. Okay, they're here. He wanted us to go, so... I mean, go for it. <clears throat> I did say you could go. Hidden Rob. Looks like both default colors. No, Rob isn't default. Anyways, here we go. Wait, there's a tournament right now? Yes, sir. Or a ma'am. Or other. I would have showed. <laughs> well, it was advertised this in the Discord. And whatnot. Yeah, it's all good though. I mean, potentially next week we might do something. But maybe not. Some things need to be discussed. But yeah, I hope your day or night is going well. So far, it's 
surprisingly, Rob hasn't got the... As soon as I say it. So Rob takes the first stock. As long as a goat can get the... the follow-up. It should be pretty even. Alright, that'll do it. Loki was clean at the start. Oh, pit. Yeah, a goat definitely has... I might just have to call you Stellar, because <laughs> calling you a goat is just weird. It's like calling you a pit named Slipback. Slickback. <clears throat> but yeah, Stellar's doing really well. But MC Galvi. Not down, not out. All right, all right. Pit is definitely in danger. But it's not over yet. First game goes to Quagmire, aka MC Galvi. <laughs> it would be nice if everyone had their names in sync. But it is what it is. Predictions are still in favor of a goat. Maybe they're expecting the uh, their main to come out. And there it is. All right, it's go time. Okay, we got match two. The Nana and Popo versus the Rob. possible that the strat is to use pit just to mess with people similar to how red used falco and then switched to robin in one of his previous tournament entries all right the wrong sibling Now they just need to capitalize with Nana. It's a way to throw people off. Exactly. Uh, 
Okay, they're teabagging. Very unsportsmanlike. <laughs> Nana, the other. Nana! Didn't want to get the, the screech. Because my, my throat's a little dry. They're trying to get better as pit, so that's why they're using them. Okay. Alright. The stock is finally taken. Popo has returned. I'm clipping it, by the way. Oh, lord. I didn't even do a good one. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. See if there's a stage change. Any character changes? Southwatch Gaming. Eternally drinking coffee or whatever's in that cup. And if we look at the brackets here again, you can see that Red is advanced. He's not out. Aspog is going to face him next. And Kaibi is there. And we'll see who will be the the next one on the on stage. Right, the min min switch. Honestly, wasn't expecting that. But here we are. Final match between these two. Min min does seem like an interesting choice. Getting that range could be useful. A goat wins these. Now, so far, they look like they're taking the lead. Got the grab. Surprisingly not using both arms on that. Alright, the combos. The YouTube clips. Lack stock for for Quagmire. A little taunt there. All 
All right. The Dragon Blast catches them. Plenty of grabs. This match. All right. So that's it. A goat advances. That's a good match. Good play from both parties. All right. A goat more like the goat. They should have, uh, <laughs> they should have capitalized on that. But anyways, uh, we, we, we kind of have, oh, hold on. I think they're starting their losers match. Which they, uh, shouldn't be yet. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll try to move their start time over. Me and a goat can wait if you want. Um, I guess we should do you guys next, and then we'll just go within the line here of losers' quarters. Crap! Just realized I'm fighting an ice climber again. Rest in peace. Oh, wait. Asp? Never mind. A oh, worse one. That's crazy. A goat, but not really. But yeah, uh... I guess we'll have we'll have you guys in losers quarters wait and then we'll have ruby and a goat get back into the arena i think that makes sense you would think i'd be better at this by the sixth one but nope This tournament is going... Yeah. We'll do Ruby and a goat. And then we'll proceed to... Aspog and then... Red. And then we'll do Quagmire and Kaibi. Afterwards. So it looks like there's a romance or something. So why are two of like the eight ice climbers in this tournament? I don't know. It's winter. What can I say? The ice comes out.
But yeah, whenever you guys are ready to come back. <laughs> I was bored. Well, I'm glad you decided to, uh, to grace us with your, with your ice climber. It's pretty fresh. Pretty cool. <clears throat> I forgot it's still winter. I get it. All right, let me also move this start time. It's like 80 degrees down here. What does that convert to? Oh, okay. That's pretty warm. But yeah, you guys coming back? A ruby? A goat? You guys coming to the arena? There's some technical difficulties, or... What's going on? You see for temperature? Celsius? Yeah. Alright, we got one. Nice, nice. <laughs> For a second, I thought you guys were just playing <laughs> off stream in like your own arena. That would have been messed up. But I wouldn't put it past anyone since uh, it's so chaotic. Anyways, here we go. Winners finals. These two have not lost a set. They've made it all the way here in an hour and a half. So we're going to need to start the prediction again. But I'll shorten the duration to like three minutes. Actually, two minutes. You guys need to decide quickly. But looks like finally match one. They pulled it out. The Nana and Popo. I'm guessing since they know each other, maybe Ruby knows this matchup where others would struggle more. <laughs> I hope I'm not getting that art. You never know. Maybe Ruby will win and maybe you can beat Ruby if you know the matchup. Yeah, to be honest, Fahrenheit's a pretty weird, uh, I wonder why the U.S. 
has a bunch of like separate measurements that other countries don't use. Like inches, yards, Fahrenheit, stuff like that. But I have to fight a goat no matter what. Oh yeah, that's true. No way around it. I guess when you're while you're waiting for your match, you could always do some practice against Nana and Popo. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> but final stocks for each. has been an interesting tournament so far. Ooh, no. That would have been real dire. I guess I could commentate. I mean, if you want to join for like the ending, I guess. <laughs> although, although maybe, maybe we'll wait until you're you're officially out or not. Just so you don't express your uh, biases. Anyways, we got match two. Same stage. Looks like Ruby is... Okay, they're there. I won't join the arena since more people causes lag. I don't know if, if commenting on with delay is going to be good then. Okay, nice. Not spiked, but since they were separate, don't think they could recover properly. Nice shield break. Popo trying to back up Nana. But Ruby's still able to capitalize. That ice. It's a force to be reckoned with. I don't know how to commentate Smash. I don't either. <laughs> but maybe I'll... Maybe for this one... I'll just do it myself and then have you guys focus on the other stuff. RIP. Some early, early kills. This is a dirty match. Alright. 
right. Kind of baited out the. I think it was up smash. With that jump. I'd say both, both parties have an equal chance of winning at this point. For sure. But it's time for the the tiebreaker. I guess they just like going battlefield. Kind of funny how the vast majority of people that joined this time weren't there last time. There's a lot more new people as opposed to returning. I'm always here, so when is the next tournament? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Maybe it might be two weeks from now. For all we know. March 10th? You mean Mario Day? That'd be a good time to do a tournament. But here we are. The tiebreaker between these two. Ruby and a goat. Sounds like a band name. Personally, I'll be working March 10th. Well, nothing's set in stone just yet. <laughs> I would definitely want some, uh, at least some time. Maybe improve some stuff. All right, first stock. <clears throat> Up smash does it. Popo still trying to beat up Dark Samus. Nice combo. They're really working at separating these two. Nice. Which makes sense. Their, their power primarily comes from the fact that they're together.
This is definitely in Ruby's favor right now. Okay, up B, still not killing just yet. Ooh. Able to get the stock off Samus, though. There we go. That tether grab versus these two is really effective. And then the zero to death. Just like that. Big clips. All right. So, a goat advances. That was a good game between the two of them. Respectable. This is a good tournament. I agree. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this best of five? It is. Oh my goodness. Even I didn't know that. Or rather, I forgot. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ruby can still bring this back. Almost able to get that stock off Nana. Oh no, the ice. The oppression. Alright, fuller tilt. Get them off. That punish. Stellar is making sure the siblings are inseparable. At least I'm pretty sure Dan and Popa are siblings. Well, I know there was some speculation at some point. Just, just Nana. Husband and wife, I think. Hmm. Well, I hope they're one, not the other. Ruckus, welcome. Welcome to the, to the stream. How's it going? Oh no, the combos. Ouch. Alright, last stock. They could be from Alabama, so both. Yeah, siblings and spouses. I sure hope not. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm in winner's finals against ice on deck. We taking a break. I see. Didn't know ice on deck joined the tournament. Maybe you're talking about a different one. Ice on deck signed up for one tournament I had and then didn't show up. <laughs> I wonder why. Although maybe the tournament you guys are doing involves money or something. Something more valuable than the community and the glory and commissioned art. Nice. All right, is it game time? <sighs> Unfortunate. The duo is too powerful. <laughs> My art is not valuable. I think many people would disagree. But there we go. For real this time. A goat advances. And Ruby is sent to losers. But that was a... Uh, a good set. I think Ruby has done the so far the best against a goat. Which means yes, red is up next. So if you two could join and if someone could figure out the technical aspects of starting the match, maybe Red can just do it himself since he's uh, an admin. Okay, thanks, Jay. But anyways, how are you guys doing in the chat? You guys enjoying the tournament? The bits and pieces that you've seen of it? So boring. Alright. Time to end stream. Time to delete my, my channel. And become a become a janitor for the rest of my days. All right, losers quarterfinal. I sure love <laughs> using the emote, the emote wall of things just being all over the place. Got so many fish. They're everywhere.
is this best of five or is this three? I can't remember what Red said. Oh no, he said only finals are five. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, well we need Aspog to come back so that we can actually get things ready. <laughs> see, I see someone added a, a certain clip into the Discord. I wonder who that could be. I'm not saying it again. I don't want to get clipped. But the two, <clears throat> two competitors are here. It's almost fight time once again. We got Red. Back again with Bowser. And then we have Bayonetta once again. I kind of feel bad for those who didn't make it onto the stream. But I can only do so much. Anyways, I believe this is... I want to say this is Town and City, but I keep mixing up with Smashville. But anyways... So far, Bowser has the damage lead. Yeah, Red's playing Bayonetta. This is some relaxing music. To contrast this, uh, fight to the death. Alright, first stock. Nice side B. They're able to escape. Nice punish. A very textbook. Down B, not connecting. Able to escape again from Bayonetta's combos. Back here is still not killing. <laughs> Bowser. Okay. There he is. There he goes. But he was living for a long time.
Right, the combos. Last stocks, but a uh, giant lead for Aspog. Also, I just noticed that I <laughs> smashed the character art with the names. My bad. Let me just fix that real quick. Alright, back air does it. That's why Red was asking if Red was playing Bayo. I thought you meant playing against. But, uh... Oh well. Surprisingly, the first time this has happened during the tournament. But certainly won't be the last. Okay, they're back again. Red has switched over to Robin. It's time for Magic Man. And we're at PS2. A favorite stage of some people. Not me, though. Okay, nice combos. But PS2 was also a good console back in the day. I never owned one. So, I can't vouch. Or verify. I guess it's unanimous. Your first console playing Okami. I see. So for nostalgia purposes, it was the best. Your first MMO, Final Fantasy XI on PS2. I heard that that was an MMO, but I've never seen gameplay or anything of it. I would assume the servers are down or whatever you'd call it for PS2. It's still active. They have free private servers you can still play on. Oh. Interesting. Kind of like a uh, Monster Hunter Frontier. Anyways, back to the match. Bayonetta is definitely doing damage on Robin. Maybe I should pay attention to this match and learn some new tricks. Even if I don't play Bayonetta. Okay. 
Okay, charged up. Thoron not killing just yet. Throwing the book at her. Surprisingly, Robin takes that stock and not Bayonetta first. It's not over for Red. Hit her with knowledge. Exactly. Literally throwing the book at her. Hey, Tay. Welcome. He were lurking for a bit. <laughs> well, I hope you didn't see anything too embarrassing. But I need to go soon again. Okay. No worries. Today's your mom's birthday. Oh, nice. Well, I would say <laughs> tell her to tell her I said happy birthday, but that might be a little weird. Anyway, second match goes to Goes to red. Yeah, it's it's clipped in the Discord. There's a clip of it, I mean. Also there. It wasn't even a good <laughs> it wasn't even a good nya nya. The kid sounds a little more screechy. I just can't execute that right now with my voice. But anyways, how are the... How's the predictions going? Oh, it's 50-50. Okay, okay. I guess it is anyone's game. I'm curious to see, uh, Kaibi actually be on stage. <clears throat> Since I think they're the only person who hasn't. But whoever wins, I'll give them a sub to Zero's channel. Hope you'll enjoy the match. Okay, Tay. Well, I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good day spending time with your mom. And here we go. Match three at the Pokemon League. I'm surprised that down smash reached Bayonetta on that ledge. That's just Robin doing Robin things. A 
so far no witch time. Oh, they're looking for it. This might be a turnabout. Red really wants that commissioned art. Done by Sleepy J. That one pixel. Yeah. Alright. Azpog takes their first stock of this match. But also loses their second stock immediately after. It's definitely looking in favor of red, but it's not over yet. connect with that. Which time unable to capitalize on Arc Fire. I presume because it's multi-hit. Care, does it? So red advances, and Aspog is eliminated, I believe. Some good matches. Aspog, thank you for for joining the tournament. Hope you enjoyed your time in it. It's a very good run. So, now it's time for Quagmire and Kaibi. I know they've been waiting a while. But that's just how it goes sometimes, you know? Yeah, you definitely popped off. <laughs> so if one of you guys could uh, message them to get them to show up. Plenty of waiting in this tournament, but I'm grateful that people have taken the time out of their night to actually wait. No, in real life. <laughs> okay. Just in your room, like, let's go! Yes! Welcome Kaibi or Kibi. I I've been saying Kaibi this whole stream, but you can correct me. Nah, fist pump. Okay. That works too. But yeah, we're we're now here in this area. The tournament and after that we will move on to okay not the grand finals 
but I guess it would be a loser's semifinal. So it is Kibby. Okay. Also, welcome, <laughs> Big Boy Mudkip. So shout out to Fat Kirby. I miss her. It's an interesting tag. Um, I don't know if the predictions are up. Could you, uh, stop the predictions real quick, Jay? Also, me too. Let me... Switch this. I want to say this is the right... Mithra. I bet it so I can't do anything. Oh, I see. No worries. So far, though. Kibby has been having a decent lead. Can't remember if we've only seen Quagmire use Rob or not. Okay, we have. But it's not over. Their Rob has gotten them this far, so they can trust in the skills. Okay, a little spammy. After this, it'll be red and whoever wins this match. Yes. Because we, we can't do grand finals until we have someone to face off against a goat. Every time I look, it's been Mithra. I don't know if they've actually used Pyra to fight. Okay, never mind. But Mithra is definitely putting in work. I do use Pyra, but only to kill. That's how most play. Well, I know a certain someone who doesn't play like that. <laughs> Maybe they're still in chat right now. But first game goes to Kibby. Someone who is, uh, very biased towards fire. Three, two, one, go! 
Anyways, here we go, match two. Oh, so I guess the... No one voted. Or no one picked in the predictions, so we'll just leave it as as blank. How did you know I tried Pyramithra as a secondary? I must be psychic. Although I wonder if you would even favor using Pyra over Mithra Red. <laughs> Titty swords are not my thing. Wow. Oh no, the SD. What do they call the American Air Dodge? Yeah, super unfortunate. But I'm sure they can still capitalize with Mithra. See, a guy like me, I would definitely have got hit there. Even if I attempted to air dodge. It does have jiggle physics too. <laughs> the sword? The sword has jiggle physics? Oh man. What kind of franchise is this? <laughs> Sakurai? So no my, but have jiggling swords. That's crazy. <laughs> that's a That's pretty funny. Just like that, Kibby advances, and Quagmire is eliminated. Those are some good matches, and a uh, shout out to MC Galvi. Good games. Hope you had fun in the tournament, in your run. But yeah, now, now it's time for Red to return to the, to the stage.
And then whoever wins this, who's red playing? He's playing you. Hold on, let me switch screens. Yeah, he's he's playing you. And then whoever wins, what's his name? <laughs> you not see? Red SK02. He was the last person to be in the, the tournament arena. Well, I guess you did join the, the stream just now, so that's fair. <clears throat> but anyways, if Red can come back, the Robin you said was bad. Damn. I didn't know there was smack talk going on. Also, Jinx, welcome. And Steezy. Pretty sure I saw you talk there. Welcome. Although my Twitch chat is bugging out. So. Oh yeah, we're pretty deep into the bracket right now. Super deep. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the the gameplay. Let me just set up red stuff here. Yeah, we'll see if uh, if the smack talk is warranted or not. Although I, I imagine Red has some decent matchup experience against Pyre and Mithra. But we'll see how things turn out. My god. Now there's also predictions going on. If people want to bet some points. Also pick sides against this surprising grudge match. Ready? I'll probably end the predictions once the first person uh, takes stock, more than likely. So be sure to put your points in now. Kirby's going strong. I meant to put 300, not 3,000. Well, you're rich, so it doesn't matter. I feel like he could have done a shield break with that. first stock and so the submissions end I hope people picked all right once again with that combo a touch of death combo from Kirby like they're waiting to grab once again. Yeah. 
Kirby able to completely go under that, surprisingly. Alright, back air takes stock. Down tilt to forward smash. It's been something KB tried to execute a lot. Almost took the stock though. Not quite just yet. Alright, things are looking dangerous for Robin. Oh, in the back air. Alright, first game goes to Kibby. It's not over yet. Also, I <laughs> totally didn't update uh, Red's name. <clears throat> Beat his buttons, Kibby. Kibby has brought along a a backing. A lot of people showing up to show support. But welcome, man spider. Alright, it's PS2 again. Yo, I hate that Kibby guy. I'm sure. Dental. Hmm. I wonder if Thoron is able to catch Kirby in that situation. Okay, forward smash does it. Arc fire doing some damage. Red able to get back and reversal. So he keeps his lead. Thoron also not connecting. Nosferatu also surprisingly not connecting. Tilt. Not quite enough. But up here does it. Okay, final stock. The Kirby rushdown is pretty impressive right now. It truly makes you wonder. Who Kibby even lost to in the first place? Right 
but it's not over. All right, down smash, still hitting. Down smash once again. Not a shield break. Ooh. And yet another down smash. Really doing it again. They lost to Ruby? Okay, well that makes sense. Since Ruby's in Loser's Finals. Loser's Final. So now, it's one apiece, and this will be the tiebreaker between the two. So you really have to wonder who's gonna, gonna win this. Also, someone remind me to change this, change the music for the lobby once we get to grand finals. All right, here we go. The final match between these two. One lives, one dies. All right. The switch up. Gets the Nosferatu off. Kibby is oppressing the stage right now. Ooh. Able to avoid that Thoron. I don't know what just hit Kibby right there. Unfortunately, that L Thunder did not connect. It's about an inch short. Like Kippy was about to parry that entire jab. <sighs> Down smash not working. Up air will kill though. hitbox of that down smash. These arc fires are not connecting. Seems to be a very unfavorable matchup for Robin. Magic spell. The back air catches.
right? Thunder actually connecting that time. <clears throat> nice, no Seratu. Didn't take the stock quite yet. But that'll do it. spiking but definitely chasing down <sighs> ah, unfortunate but Kibi advances that was some sick Kirby gameplay which means unfortunately Red has been eliminated, but he had a good run. May get all the way to loser's semi. Unless. Okay, <laughs> I was making sure there wasn't like a secret best of five. But now it's Ruby and Ruby and Kibby. So if Ruby can come back. And definitely rest in peace. Sometimes it's best of five, but normally not. Yeah, I was hoping for best of five. Uh, losers finals should be best of five, I believe. As well as grand finals. So I guess you guys can enjoy that. And maybe next time we can adjust it to... Uh, best of five for some other things. But yeah. Anyone get in contact with Ruby? They still active? That's been a while. I'll ping them. Hopefully they, uh, they join, though. Next time I'll win the art. Well, looks like Jay is looking at three options for art, actually. Between Kirby or Ice Climbers, probably. Or Dark Samus. All good characters. Big Boy Mudkip, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Also, Tay said she was going to give the, the winner of the tournament 
a gift sub for the channel as well. That we will see how that goes. By the way, I never mentioned it, but we reached over 400 followers through this tournament's uh, setup. Recruitment. So uh, shout out to you guys for actually joining the tournament and the community for the support. All right, is Ruby alive? <laughs> I guess they... They checked in. I thought you were already at 500? Nah. I'm just a little streamer. Congrats on 400. Thanks. Actually, I, uh... I guess my stream anniversary is, is coming up soon. So, it's been two years. And now we're over 400. I think during the first year anniversary, it was also... Um, like 200 followers at that point. So, pretty good pace. 200 followers a year. But I've learned a few tricks. So I'm sure it'll be... Bigger growth next time. At least I hope so. Okay, Ruby's gotta be in a little bit until they can join back. Maybe they were fighting someone else. Or they were, uh. They were cheating on us and doing another tournament on the side. I'm hoping the next tournament will be on my spring break so I don't got this this gro this gross spikes they said two seconds one two I'm taking a piss okay you know what that's a great idea actually let me just uh While that's going on, you guys can put your predictions in. Also, Arcanine underscore RK9. Direct all your hate towards him. We're running an ad. Nothing's going on. I'll be right back. You don't have to worry about it. Alright, well, I'll be right back. Hopefully, they're, uh, they're okay. Those who are unsubbed are okay in ad hell for a minute. But yeah, consider subscribing or getting ad block.
All right, I'm back. I don't know if you guys are still in ad hell. But if you are, uh, salute. Nah? Okay, good. So now we're just waiting for Ruby still. Also, there's already big money on Kibby. And one point for Ruby. I wonder how that works, actually. Like, if you... Is it divisible? Like, say that two people voted for one thing and the other person voted for the other. Like, how do you divide one point? If that makes sense. Anyways. I'm just, uh... I see money. I think it's rounded up. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was thinking of if it would round down in any other case. But if it rounded down, then that would just be zero. Which would suck. But we're still waiting. We are still waiting. Does anyone want to join the arena and uh, face me in a match? Since I've been here for three hours doing nothing, but talking. <laughs> Maybe not Kibby though. Since uh, I don't want to crush their morale, you know, with my skills. Ruby better be washing their hands. No, 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 no. Definitely not scared. I just, uh... I don't want to... hurt their morale as they take on opponents, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> Ruby's here, so it's finally time to do these matches, you know? So, Kibby is back with the... Huh? <laughs> what is going on? Yo, I hate this Kibby guy, too. I'm actually curious why that was a button check. That was like a two second button check. <clears throat> Joy cons? Oh my god. And you guys switched around, so I need to do that real quick. But here we go. So, first match between these two. Revenge of Kibby. I want to say Kibby is the name of, like, one of Kirby's friends. Like, the other... The other colored... The other colored Kirby's, if that makes any sense. 
like the red or green or blue or yellow Kirby or something. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's a uh, something else. Oh, it's best of five. You're right. Thanks for reminding me. Kibi's the yellow one. What about the other ones? All right. Full charge shot. Anyways, I need to prep for dinner. I'll put the stream on my laptop in the kitchen. Okay, sounds good. Be sure to post your dinner in the Discord. We need to see what you're cooking up. So, so far they're fairly even. Samus has the range. Well, Mithra has the speed. Ooh! That was kind of nice. They're not moving? Okay. Thought their controller disconnected or something. Only the yellow one has a name? Really? Well, I'm pretty sure the yellow one used to be like the player two of Kirby games. So maybe that makes sense. Kind of like how Luigi the player two to Mario, but I don't know. All right, final stocks. I was just about to say it's going to be hard for Pyro to get back. And there we go. So, first match goes to Ruby. I think the worst thing about uh, tackable bounces is they seem so random most of the time. So even though you can do something about it, it's so sudden, like, a car speeding at you. Kind of hard to focus, you know? I'm sure that was a great analogy. You were right. I'm gonna be biased the whole tournament. I knew it. Yo, I love this Kirby guy. Wow. What about Kibby though? You like Kirby? What about what about Kibby? King K. Rule. I hate that Kibby guy. Okay. Of course. This is an interesting matchup change. I'm guessing they changed possibly for cheese purposes, but potentially for 
the counter and armor. And superior recovery. Ready? This is a good counter pick. They definitely switched for cheese reasons. I'm convinced that uh, King K rules belly armor is made out of cheese. It's just hard cheese. So is his crown, and so is his arm bracelet things. The answer is yes. It's absolutely yes. 100%. <clears throat> Just belly bump a whole... Plasma. Plasma blast to the chest. Oh, I... They could probably have recovered from that. those time to eat pocket cookies I'd love to know what that means okay nice down smash not connecting Ooh, a good morph ball, morph bomb play from Ruby. Oh no, the cheddar. Real mozzarella hours right now. But that match goes to Kibby. Kibby is currently listening to Jason Derulo. What does that mean? I mean, I know he's an artist, but like... <laughs> Is there a special power boost from some Jason Derulo songs? Probably a great value cookie that has been in my pocket for who knows how long. Red, I question your uh, your stomach's endurance. We might have to call you Iron Gut Red. I only get six like once a year, I'm fine. It must be nice.
That isn't gonna work again. Oh no. What happened? This is unprecedented. Ruby disconnected. <laughs> I don't... I don't even know what... What's the procedure for this? If you disconnect. I mean, it was still 2-2, two -two, so it's not like... She was AFK for a sec. What are we thinking, chat? Do we count it as a as a point towards Kibby, or do we just reset? Leave it one one. Okay, well Kibby wants to play it out. All right. Well, then I guess we have to wait once again. And we're waiting. Yeah, I guess we'll give them... 10 minutes? So... Once it's 11.27. They don't join by... If they don't join back by then, I guess we'll just, uh... skip them. Unfortunately. Oh, her parents. That's, uh, that's big unfortunate. But since we don't have any other matches, besides the Grand Finals, which one of you would be participating in, we, uh, have no choice, really. Alright, first person to say a song in this game, I'll switch it to. Edge to Dawn. Oh no. English. She says, can you wait five? Yeah, sure. No problem. I wonder if the... Um, if the Fire Emblem Engage music is good any good or as like an iconic theme Okay, what's what's your least favorite? What are your least favorite fighters in this game? People in the chat. Who do you hate fighting against, or just don't like playing, or just hate them on a 
personal level. Samus, Link. Link is pretty painful when I fight him. Samus, also very painful. Ken. When you, when you face against a good Ken and they just <laughs> combo your shield away, that's definitely rough. I mean, I'm sure people in the chat, uh, some regulars know the characters I despise. Such as Captain Falcon or Ganondorf or Little Max, okay. Robin, just kidding. King K. Rule, definitely. A good Isabel can be annoying to fight. Yeah, I agree. Just pocketing everything. Bowser, Bayo, Sonic, and Belmonts. Oh yeah, Belmonts are super annoying if they're good. Kazuya is easy for you. It's fine if you hate Robin, that means I'm doing my job. Alright, I guess I'm doing my job too. Since uh, many of you complain about Hero. And the crits. And the wax and the thwax. Crit God! RNG God! Man, I hate Kirby. Me too, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird sometimes, you know. Actually, where's my? All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I definitely hate that Kirby guy. He's uh, a little whack to me personally. Whack games, whack series, you know? Yeah, very unfortunate that we're not crit RNG gods in Monster Hunter. We should just have infinite crits. All right, let me let me take this off. But if you couldn't see, this is a Kirby hat. Okay, I feel like it's been more than five minutes, but I guess we will continue to wait. Since I don't want to be bad faith. So what stages do you guys hate? I guess this is the next question <clears throat> Next question to ask. 
Because me personally, where is it? Where is that cursed stage? Where is that stage? Okay, I can't see it. Legal or non-legal? Uh, probably legal, I'd say. But I mean, you can say whatever you want. But yeah, the Kirby... Yo the Yoshi's Island stage. Which I can't find on this list right here. Okay, I'm just blind. Yoshi's Story. I hate this stage. So much. I love the WarioWare <laughs> normal stage. And you're good, Ruby. That's good to hear. Hope you can connect back. Also, I'm curious what the JSY means. But you don't have to tell me. I'll just assume, make theories and stuff. Like with Red's SK. Which he has yet to reveal to anyone. Jersey. Okay. Cool. I... Maybe it's because I'm not in America. But I... Didn't even think of Jersey. But anyways, here we go. Some minor difficulties, but we're back. It's just off the UK next to France. Okay. Not gonna lie, I was definitely thinking of New Jersey. But apparently there's a European Jersey. Which, I guess there has to be Another jersey for there to be New Jersey, you know? Better jersey. <laughs> All right, first stock. Goes to Kibby. Uh, bad SD. But I think Kibby might have provided a homie stock. Which is uh, always nice to see in a tournament. not connecting or actually I think it's back air that's uh the spike I think K King K rule is weird like that nice all right 111 130 Definitely dire, but it's not over. Yay. 
All right, that was a nice punish. I wish I was that good to read those. Red definitely likes doing uh, forward airs off ledge. But anyways. The third match goes to Big King K. This time the, the K is for Kibby. It's an addiction. You need to be stopped. All right, the normal Samus. <clears throat> the counter pick. Shout to Metroid, by the way. I heard it got a... There's a remake or remaster of Metroid Prime, which is probably aging this, uh, this tournament for future viewing, but... Yeah, I've never actually played any. Runs at 60, apparently. Nice. I might get it, even though I hate first person. But I do love Metroid, so maybe I should get it. That connects. Goes right through the cannonball. Oh, nice. No spike. Yo, I blank this kibby guy I'm not even going to say what the first thing that came to my mind was I'm sure you can guess <laughs> that's all I'm going to say so dirty. What do you mean? What are you implying? I didn't even say what it was. Oh, I thought they were going to up throw. All right. Can Ruby make this back? It's a sweet up throw. Nice. All right, now it's 2-2. Two, two.
Maybe it's yo, I, I appreciate this kibby guy. What is going on? What? Okay, if it's that, then why, why don't you want to say it? Well, I don't want to speak for other people. So, uh, <laughs> what just happened there? Another button check? Let's just act like that didn't happen. <laughs> Morph bombs into back air. Down throw. Up tilt. Nope. Dash attack. That'll do it. Still not killing, surprisingly. Even at that height. <laughs> okay, they're both attacking the air. Okay, nice. Nice evasive, evasive maneuvers on that. Unfortunately, faced the wrong way. This might be it. Okay. And there we have it. Ruby takes it. Good games, good games. Shout out to Kibby for their integrity of waiting for Ruby.
And uh, it's time for some people to... To lose some money. So, now it's finally time for the grand finale. I wonder if, uh, if a goat is still alive. <laughs> this Kibby guy. But yeah, get your... Better get ready for the next prediction. The final prediction. Maybe. We might do one if there's another... If there's like a reset. Nah, he aged to death. <laughs> oh, my channel points. No. Yeah, hopefully they didn't fall asleep. So, all right, I'm going to head out. It was a fun time. All right, Mudkip. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for enjoying the content. And supporting slash hating slash blanking uh, Kibby. But yeah, I hope to see you next time. Maybe... We could do some matches next time I'm streaming Smash. A goat said he was DQing? When did he say that? In a server we're in. Oh. Okay. Alright then. Why didn't they just say that here? So we didn't have to wait on them. Or expect them to... Alright then. Well... I guess we'll just wait in case they change their mind for the <laughs> for the last five minutes just in case but in case they yeah he might change his mind <laughs> they were so good they DQ'd yep Ironically, if Red got back here, he wouldn't have to fu 
He wouldn't have to fight a goat again. Five minutes plus reset. Yeah. My disappointment okay, is that <laughs> that shocked me. And my day is ruined. So loud, my God. Speaking to my soul. But yeah, my disappointment is immeasurable because this is easily the worst grand finals <laughs> we've had in our uh, in our tournaments. If he just disqualifies himself because he didn't want to wait or something. I mean, it did say four hours on the event description. Dang, the art could have been mine. Yeah, it could have been. But you still had to beat the other people. So I guess now that we're waiting, uh, if you didn't know, Ruby, the winner gets some commissioned art done by Sleepy J here, who is a professional artist and it'll be of their main and smash so i'm assuming you'd want samus or dark samus maybe jay would be willing to do both but who knows <clears throat> i don't know about professional i mean you make money off of it so that's as professional as it needs to be. Yeah, they have the artist badge, so that means they're good at art. Regular Samus? Okay. Well, it can be like a custom, kind of a custom thing. It doesn't have to be just the character. Like the last person who won got Falco in their, in their red costume color. And they also had like a... Dragon Ball Z scouter instead of their normal scouter. So you can be creative with it. But you just have to let Jay here know. Probably DM her about it. But yeah. We're still waiting. And we're waiting. Also, I'm kind of sick of this song, so I'm just going to change it. If anyone has another song request that's not Fire Emblem, they can say so right now. Someone should put points for the prediction. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Maybe we should do a prediction of will he show back up or not. Although I'm guessing no at this point. Gerudo Valley. All right. Now which one? I'm going to assume you mean this one. But Fire Emblem, great. Yeah, but... You need something fresh. Yeah. Uh, someone also mentioned, or Tay actually mentioned, that uh, I meant the original. Oh. My bad. Can't disappoint the champion.
Okay. Well, they're 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 giving up officially. Unfortunately. As you can see here. Yeah, it's too late for them. Sad. But, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's late for me, too. <clears throat> it's almost, uh... Almost midnight. So... Yeah, the true winner, the true winner of endurance is Ruby. But I guess since the tournament is over officially, let me just uh, do the disqualification stuff. Actually forgetting how you even do it. Anyway, someone can do it. <laughs> Maybe red or something, or we just wait out the timer. I'm about to die if I stay up any longer. The true winner is the friends we made up along the way. No worries, Ruby. I mean, you won, so... You didn't even have to... Just being here alone made you win. So... Yeah, congrats. Hope you enjoyed the tournament. And, uh... Yeah. I guess that's it for the, the tournament part of this. Okay, Red did it. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't find the the DQ section. But anyways... Tournament is now officially over. Yeah, I did. It was super fun. Great to hear. <laughs> I imagine this might be a little awful. Like, if you come back because it's so late for you. But I hope to see you again. Maybe for even, like, some casual smash or something. But here's the... Here's the final results. Are you guys part of the same team? The DBE? Whatever that means. Also, Kibby. No. Actually, no, Kibby isn't. Huh. Oh, you are. Okay. So we got professionals in this casual stream, is what you're saying. Got it. <laughs> Just a sponsor or something. Oh, that's cool. Wish I had a sponsorship. 
but I'm just a little old streamer. Yeah, me, a goat, and Mr. are a crew together. Oh, okay. I don't think I saw Mr. on stage. <laughs> you do me. You know what? You're right. Shout out to Sleepy J for sponsoring this stream. <clears throat> Jay, you should definitely have some sort of image that shows up on screen. Like how most sponsors work. Like maybe some some logo or something. We all decided to join this together. Oh, cool. All right, let me see if I can do this correctly. There we go. But yeah, shout out to Jay. The the art the art lady who will be doing the prize art of the stream. And I guess I guess we're pretty much done here. But if someone wants to join the arena and face me, so it isn't just a long waiting period. Then that's cool too. 